up guys, it's T here from Teeny Daily and today we're doing the highly requested, y'all, my gosh, does everyone want to see this makeup tutorial and everyone I feel like has done this makeup tutorial as well. It is, da da da, The Nun, you know it. It was a really good movie by the way, I really enjoyed it and I'm not shocked that this is highly requested and probably going to be one of the top five costumes this year because it is super, super simple, you guys. Super, super simple to get Valak's look. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Demon Spawn. <laughs> I just quickly want to say this is not to offend anybody. This does not reflect our religious views, anything of the sort. This is purely and simply just a makeup tutorial, y'all. That is it. Highly requested. Happens to be super popular. That's it. It's just makeup. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our teeny ween makeup tutorials. <laughs> Alright y'all, let's get started. Go ahead and put your super duper fancy stylish headband on to get your hair out of your way. This is from Vintage Cosmetics. I got it in my boxy lux. Oh, that was such a good box. And then we're going to go in with the Graftopian Pro Paint shade of White Swan. And remember guys, anytime we're going in with Graptopian, it is water activated. Let's go ahead and add it to our face and right here to our neck. So since the nun has a very kind of like splittered, splattered, old, aged look to her. I went in with a stippling brush and applied the white on top. Honestly, you should probably just start with this. <laughs> I know I started with that little sponge thing, but this makes it so much easier. All right, next is the eye area. Super, super simple. We're gonna go in with the Raven Black shade in Graftopian and then apply that all over the lid and the circular area that you created. Take your finger and just start bringing it out. For that center of the eye, we want to make sure we set that. So get yourself a black eyeshadow. I'm using this shade right here called Temptress, the one we've been going to from the Jaclyn Hill Black Magic Palette from the Vault Collection. You are already looking creepy. feel like I needed to make that sound for some reason. We're going in with the Wet n Wild Neutrals paint palette now. We're going to pick up this brown shade right here with a stippling brush. It's really important that you go in with a stippling brush, you guys, because that's what's going to give it that aged, just really like vile look. Very light handedly go around your face. Make sure you bring those down the neck as well. Oh, and also don't forget about this water line. It's easy to forget about. Just pop some black liner in there. Using this beautifully stained Wet n Wild brush from Beetlejuice. Yes, it is clean. It's just stained. We're gonna be going in with the Temptress shade again. We are basically just bronzing it up with black, creating those edges. The lax nose is very skinty up front. Taking a very light hand and pointing it. Really make it look like you're skinty, honey. Now we're going to take our small angled elf brush with a little bit of NYX gel liner in Jet Black right here. And we're going to line that gel line that we just created. You probably have to go in several times and just keep smudging. It's all about giving yourself that illusion. You have to keep going in until you're happy with it. Grab yourself one of those wedges from the drugstore that you can just throw away and pick bits out of it, you guys. This is gonna give you a cool, like, diseased, 
Stippled effect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so just keep picking. Pick little pieces off of it. Once you have a nice little sponge effect going on there that you like, you can go ahead and use it. This is to break up any kind of cleanliness we may have created by accident. All right, party peeps, we are going to use the Bright Wet n Wild paint palette today. Look at that, ah, look at how bright that is. So super bright. And we're going to mix that green with this army colored green right here. Going in with the stippler. You wanna get yourself a nice stiff Preferably a foundation brush and basically what you're going to do is take the teeniest Tiniest bit of foundation and you're literally gonna do Like in school and do this Woo! Woo! Flick yourself, baby. I said flick not the other F word <laughs> This is so much fun This is probably one of my favorite parts Let's do veins y'all we like it veiny. Do we like it veiny? Now, I know I did not do a tutorial on my broken doll look, but this is basically the same method that I used. To kind of, it's like a crackly effect. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Winged and Wild. Beautiful olive green color, perfect for what we're doing. Again, make sure you have so little product that you can't even barely see it. Go ahead and give her those wrinkles, y'all. Have fun with this. I'm so tired. Me bone these kids got me tired. All right guys, so because I do have the littlest button nose, which is like completely opposite of Balak, I'm gonna... What happening? <laughs> Thank you, babe. I'm glad you love my button nose. Um, but what are you doing scary? Because the whole point of this is to give me that elongated nose look. Yes! Sorry, y'all. I didn't let my hair down. It's giving me a headache. Do you find me rhymes at five? I'm going back in with the green Wet n Wild liner. And we're just creating different strokes, you guys. Oh, I almost missed that little eyebrow we got going on. We're going to take black for that one, though. The rest is detail work and splatters. I will finish that on my own really quick. I just wanted to show you two different teeth options and then I'll come back with a final look. So really quick, these are just werewolf teeth. You can find them at Party City or any one of those Halloween stores or you can purchase them online. You just pop these bad boys in and they just happen to look like Velax teeth. So I was like, oh, hey, so pop them in. <laughs> Since I am doing a YouTube video and I'm gonna take this off as soon as I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and use the teeth for the pictures and for the sake of this video. But if I was wearing it for a Halloween party or on Halloween to trick or treat or any kind of long-term event, I would use this bad boy right here. This is called Liquid Tooth Out or Black Tooth Out. It has many names. You can find this online. Basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. It turns your teeth black, y'all. So what you wanna do, take a clean cloth, make sure your teeth are dry. You're gonna draw in the shape of the nun's teeth. All right, so I'm only gonna do two right there to kind of just show you, look at how cool that looks, right? Right? And see, once it dries and they all look like that, it'll give the illusion of pointy teeth.
la. <laughs> And this is the finished look, you guys. I love it. Oh, I'm so... I, I don't know. I'm not normally creepy. <laughs> I can act really creepy, though, as you guys saw in the intro. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't really gotten the asked this question recently because most of you already know, but I am super, super sensitive to contacts, and I can't wear any artificial contact lenses you guys it's obscene the ones that i have like are specially made for me and uh, anyway long story short i put them in in editing don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let me know that you like it as always thank you guys so so much for watching you guys stay wonderful do something that makes y'all smile today and have a gorgeous day